It's a beautiful time of year. Spring is in the air and we're getting ready for our annual art show. We have some beautiful prints coming out of the, our dark room. So today we're gonna make, uh, do a lesson on how to mount a photograph for display. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to center a photograph without using any rulers. And I'm gonna show you how to dry mount using our dry mount press, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to have uh, your print. Usually, um, if we have touch-ups, we have another video on how to, how to touch up a photo. Um, but we're just gonna, this is our, our demonstration. This one's a, a one that has a mistake on it. So we're gonna use this to make sure that our settings are correct because we haven't used the dry mount in over two years. So the first thing you're gonna do is you proceed over here to our area and you're gonna go into this cabinet. In this cabinet, we have our dry mounting tissue. This is our dry mounting tissue. It's like a little thin sheet of glue, okay? You're gonna just line this up carefully on your, oh, by the way, today we're performing in front of a live studio audience. So we just line this up, you can just eyeball it, it doesn't have to be crazy, um, you don't have to be too perfect, but you do want it to be flat. So we just lay it down flat, I've cleaned the area, my hands are clean, all right? We don't wanna, you know, be working on some janky stuff. This is our, um, our tacking iron, and so what you do with the tacking iron is, make sure it's hot, it's like a little plancha, right? It's a little iron, and what you do, you come to the corner right here, you just push it down, let it get hot a little bit, it's gonna melt the glue, and then just pull to the corner. See if it's hot enough. If it's hot enough, it'll stick already. Oh, it's not hot enough yet. Está caliente. Está caliente, si quema. Si quema, cu. Quema o no quema, cu. I like the fake laughing in my joke. Si. I am applying some pressure, so hopefully that sticks. There we go, it sticks. All right. Now we're gonna move over to our paper cutter over here. So, all right, so with this paper cutter, you don't want to do the edge of the paper cutter. For some reason, this edge is off a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to use the lines. I, I put a piece of tape here, and you're just going to put the print in here. You pick one of the, one of the edges, and you're just going to trim off the border. The first, the first one, we're just kind of eyeballing it, make sure that we trim it off a little bit. We want to make sure it's pretty straight. You just hold it down, make sure you put your thumb on it like this, hold it down, and then you pull and then you're gonna get a nice cut. So now, with this one cut, oh, we gotta cut it again. I, got, I, I still got a little bit of white border. There we go. Now we got an even border. So now I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna line it up here and I'm just gonna kind of spin it around and I'm gonna try to cut each line and I wanna make sure that it's perfectly straight. All right, this is where you wanna slow down a little bit. If your picture is crooked, it's always gonna look crooked on the board. And so we wanna make sure that we slow down here Instead of being in a hurry, you want to slow down because if you do it right, then you don't have to do it over. Plus, you don't want to ruin your print that you worked so hard to make. So now we have our 
photo cut. Now remember, you, you have to cut it after you attach the glue, the, the dry mount tissue. Don't cut it before. All right, so now we're gonna go back over here. Down here, we have our mounting boards. All right? So what we do with these photographs is that we want to make sure that the top and the bottom are the same and the left and the, and the right are the same. So we're going to center it. And the way we do that, usually I'll get something to kind of sit on top. It shouldn't move. I like to use these index cards, okay? These index cards are, you know, they're, all, they're cut square and you just get a little pencil. You want to kind of eyeball it. And then what I do is I'll get something like, it doesn't move around too much. I'm just gonna put this down and I'm gonna make a mark right here. Actually, I'll start with the top. The top is the most, the, the most important one. So I'm just gonna put one here. I make a mark right on the edge. Make sure that you're looking right on top and you're right on there. So once you mark it, I go to the other side. You want to measure on both sides to make sure that it's straight. If you eyeball it correctly, it should be right on. Now, if you see right there, it's off a little bit. So I, I put my finger down over here, like a pivot, and then I just slide it carefully so that it's the same as the other side. And that will tell me that the print is straight. So we got that. And again, we want it to be as exact as possible. There we go, both sides are the same. Now I know this top line is straight. So now I'm gonna go on this side. Dude, I got it right in the money. That never happens. This is a goocher. Okay. Right in the money. Right in the money. So now I'm gonna go again, make sure I always double check and then you just get your pencil real lightly. You're gonna make a little line, real light. Real light, just on the edge, like that. Now we're gonna do the sides. So I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna ch choose another edge and I'm gonna come right here. Make a mark. It should be the same down here. Pretty good. Maybe I cut it off a little bit. All right, let's go on this side. Now here, we see how they're different? You see how they're different? They measure different, right? So in order to center it, you just kind of divide this in the middle. You make a mark right down the middle. So you make a mark right down the middle, and now this becomes the mark that you use. So I'm gonna put this here, and now I'm gonna slide it over. Now I wanna stay on these lines up here. Right there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna come on this side, it should be the same. It's pretty close. That's okay. I'm, I can live with that. I just wanna make sure that this top one is perfect, perfect. If the top one is crooked, you're gonna look at it on the wall and you're always gonna be like. All right, so now I'm gonna make my marks on the side. Make my mark on the side over here. Now I'm gonna find the area where I, see where I tacked it on this, see how I tacked it on this side? You guys saw how I tacked it on this side? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna turn it like this, I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna tack on this side. So now I'm gonna get my tacking iron. I'm gonna lift this up carefully. I'm gonna put the iron there, let it melt. Now I'm gonna come on this side. And I'm notice that I start in the I, and I start in the inside, and I pull out towards the corner.
So now, I should have like a Z. You see how it looks like a Z? You see that? I have a Z. Should be lined up, it's on my lines. Did it move? Doing pretty good. Now what we're gonna do, um, the lights have turned off here. That means it's come to temperature. We're right on the little line that's right on the 180. So if you wanna come close, we'll show you this. We're right on the 180 right there. See that? 180. All right, it's hot. So it's hot, don't touch it. I'm gonna open this up. This is parchment paper. You guys know what parchment paper is? It's what you, it's what you use when you, um, when you bake, right? This is what I found is worth the best, parchment paper, because sometimes you put paper on it and then you get a little stuff stuck to the picture. So we're gonna put the parchment paper on top. We got several sheets of newsprint. This is about three or four sheets of newsprint. Just on top, we're making like a little blanket, okay? We don't wanna burn the picture. So then now I'm gonna bring this over here. Now this board is bigger than the press, but the press is about the size of the photograph. So I'm just gonna push it through, it kinda of sticks out on the back. And I wanna make sure that I, can, that I have the whole photo in the press. All right, now I'm gonna get out my timer. And I am going to put a timer for one minute and 35 seconds. So I'm just gonna set the stopwatch. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna push it down. One, two, three pumps, start it. And I'm gonna run it for a minute and 35 seconds. All right. While that's being, uh, getting ready, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a board. And I'm gonna get ready on this side. This is cold, there's no heat here. So when we take that out, we, we put the picture in here, we slide it underneath, and we just press it. Because it bonds as it cools, all right? So as it's getting cold, that's how the, that's how the bond is gonna happen, okay? So we're just watching the clock. Hopefully, two years hasn't made it freak out and we don't burn the picture, but that's why we're working with a picture that is a kind of a test photo, right? If it, does, if it burns or if it doesn't stick all the way, then we'll adjust our time accordingly, all right? So we got another minute. Countdown begin. It's exciting, right? We haven't had an art show in two years. Oh, that's a good sign. Now we're taking this out. Should come right off. This looks good. You got a little bit of a little bubbly action going. Now if I pull it, the corners aren't popping off. You see that? Now I quickly come in here. I slide it in here. And then I just close it. All right? And I just chill. I can leave it there for 10 minutes, doesn't matter. There's no heat. I just want it to cool down. All right? We'll be back in two seconds. We're back, kids. So um, it's cooled down for a bit. Uh, we're gonna open it up. And now we have a photograph mounted. This is a beautiful photograph by Natalie Hernandez. Um, so now that it's mounted, um, now we have to label it. So if you look up here, there's, a, there's a, a kind of way that we like to label it. We've been archiving photographs here for since 1984, and we want to make sure that we have everything properly labeled. So on the front of the, of the photo, in pencil, down here you're going to put your title, and then over here you'll put your signature and the month and the year. So it would say like Natalie Hernandez signature, and then she could just put 222, right? On the back, in pen, you're gonna write the title, your name, your grade, and the school year. So on the back, Natalie would write 
You can use pen or you can use a sharpie. Title, grade, she's a senior, and this is 2021, 20, 2022. 20, Title would go here. On the front, Natalie, you wanna join us in our video? Sure. You're gonna sign your name right here in pencil. <laughs> Do you have a title yet? No. Okay, so when you come up with the title, you're gonna put it right here. Okay. Welcome to the archive. You're not part of Bandit High School history forever. All right, this is when you get your handshake. You get your handshake, you're part of our history. Someday we're gonna put all these images in a book. You've just added a page to the history of photography at Banning High School. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you have it, kids. That's how you mount a photograph. Um, then we'll you know, put them on display and we get ready for our art show. Uh, tune in next time for another exciting video. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and hit the little bell. All right, share it with a friend because we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. All right, we're trying to go viral here. Yeah. Right? All right, kids, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank you.